interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So before we get started in this week's game, I made a big trade. I gave <laughs> the Cincinnati Bengals Kyle, our starting quarterback, Kyle Baller, whatever his name is. Now he's gone. I gave the Cincinnati Bengals him and a second round draft pick for Brian Leftwich. He is now our new starting quarterback. Hopefully, that will turn things around on our offense. Let's go. That's it for trades for me, though, unless we absolutely have to. But I had to make some changes. And uh, though it's not super realistic as far as, like, would the Bengals really do that? Who cares? Welcome to the Denver Broncos fantasy drafted franchise. We're about to take on the Carolina Panthers. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hi there. I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, they broke through in the late 90s under Mike Shanahan to claim their first two Super Bowl titles. But the glow, it's starting to wear off. Did the Broncos have the horses to be successful again? Panthers, Broncos. Crowds of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. Welcome to the Vesco Field at Mile High Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big-time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan. And you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Chris Chambers is a very gifted receiver. His good leaping ability gives him an advantage when it comes time to elevate to haul in a high pass. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer, Nate Clements. He's a highly competent cornerback. He's very skilled at pass coverage. He's got the ability to stick to his man and just deny him the ball for the whole game. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a real dogfight in store for us. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. So hopefully Chris Chambers is happy with the trade that we made. We heard some rumblings in the locker room. So I've went ahead and made that decision. This is going to be Brian Leftwich's debut game with the Denver Broncos. You know what? We're going to go ahead and receive. We don't usually do that, but it's a special occasion. Um, Nate Clements, who you just saw, I almost traded for him, but they were asking a lot. So... I didn't want to give up any draft picks, but we did. I think that's just going to be uh, the, the price that you pay to have some good talent. So let's go. Hopefully th that we can turn it around. Oh, there we go. Chris Chamber. 37. I'll take that. I will take that. Like, I'm going to still work around with the um, play column. But now we got seven back here. 21. There you go. Three yard gain. Good job, LT. Good job. So, honestly, Leftwich's accuracy and throw power was really impressive for his experience and his overall. He's at 81 overall. Um, let's see. We got. Okay. There we go. We're going to have to get comfortable with it, though. But I was either going to get Brian Leftwich, Ben Rossenberger, or Eli Bannon. Those were the guys I was thinking about. All right. Uh, look at that. Look at that accuracy, though. So much better than what we were rocking with, with either Sean King or Kyle. That's what I need. I need somebody who can just stand there. Make the plays. Look at that. Eight touchdowns so far. Five. So he wasn't doing too bad with the uh, with the Bengals. Hey, there you go, LT. Second and seven. Let's go ahead and keep it going here. I'm going to try to get better at the play calling. Oh, didn't get that block, 48. You didn't get the block. Here we got Darlin Chambers. Oh, 
Oh, I should have stood. If I stood still there, we would have been fine. We would have been fine. All right, let's not panic. We got to get used to everything. I'm going to settle down. Focus on the game right here. Get a decent punt here. Play good defense, hopefully. Will Allen did all right, man. He had an interception in that last game. So that was our other trade that we made the week before. Because I'm like, hey, that's the benefit of playing a game uh, other than NCAA, like college football. Here in the NFL, you can trade. <laughs> you can go, hey, this ain't working. Let's, let's fix that. And I tried not to give up a lot, man. They hit you with counter offers all the time. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job, defense. I don't really know what they got going on here. Plummer, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, they got a good squad here. Let me try to catch this, like... Oh, okay. Still going to be guarding here, 45. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, there you go, Dawkins. At least you made the tackle. At least you made the tackle. Ooh, Marvin Harrison. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Now, we're going to try wind out. I don't know much about Thomas. Hey, hey, somebody get him. There you go. If anything, I think our safeties are more run support type safeties. Mike Parrish, Brian Dawkins. But with that being said, we shouldn't let teams run up and do things like that. We should be getting better with that. So we're going to do strong fire. We got to get better on third downs. I know this is third and short. Let's go, but we still get it right there. Good stuff, defense. Go ahead and get this punt going. Now, let's do punt right. I don't like to do punt defend or block, unless like they're backed up on their end zone. All right, let's see, let's see. There might be something here. Hey, to the 21. All right. Keep it going. Find some kind of rhythm here. Alright. Bro, is it just me? Or are they always there? Like, the way that these linebackers are so spread out. Alright, I'm looking for Winslow. Oh, it bounced off of him. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nothing. Nothing. Just good defense. We're going to go ahead and punt it again. We just got to play good football here. I don't like this Denver Broncos playbook, I don't think. Like, better not be on us. What? Come on. They give him one. I think we're making a play. All right, here we go. First and ten. Let's make plays, defense. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fifty-seven. Brooklyn needs to step up. He knows that though. Him and Lavar definitely. Nothing. Where are you throwing it to? Let's go. All right, thirty-nine. Let's go. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. Adjust, adjust. 
Let's go. What's the set? I mean, what's the flag? <laughs> uh, decline, decline. Fourth and 15. Let's go. Good stuff, defense. I don't know. He just stood there. All right. Zero, zero still. This might go. He'll kick it before the first is over. Yep. And there we go, Parker. Decent return. Special teams needs some improvements. But hey, we can get into a rhythm here. We got a new quarterback. We got a new. Uh, this is the second week that Will Allen's been on that defense. All right, Brian. Take over. Take over. Two and six. Two and six. Better. Better. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. 85, man. He's been one of our best wide receivers this season. Nice, nice. Right over 95's head. Yeah, I don't know if it's our offensive line. I don't know. We just have not been able to get LT to do what I know he is capable of. Look at that. Okay, third and four. Okay. Here we go. We got Chambers right here. We got Darlings. There you go, Darling. I was worried he was going to get bumped there. There we go. Let's keep it balanced. Positive yards, man. I'm going to try to get the play action going. That means we got to be successful running the ball. Do better running it inside, though. All right, third and four. All right, Chambers on the slant right there. Oh, threw a little too early. It's okay. I just was hoping I could just catch him in a rhythm. I, I didn't even really look. That was bad on my part. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this. Perfect. I'll take it. That chemistry between Brian Leftwich and our wide receivers is going to develop. Hopefully we can get Chris Chambers going. Even Winslow, somebody, man. We got to we got to make it happen. Anyways. A lot of people wanted him. I didn't trade him. I didn't want to lose anybody that we could uh use that that was actually being a, you know, part of this team. All right. All right. Good return on their part, but we're up 3 nothing. Let's see if we can keep keep the defensive vibes going. Oh man, good catch over the middle. Good catch over the middle. Really quick. Alright, let's keep it up, defense. Come on. First and ten. Just rub it off. Let's go. Okay, run defense is getting better. But we got to stop these passes, man. Play defensive tackle. Trying to get pressure. Hey, there we go. Parrish, way to get your hands up. Third and seven. All right, so what's the move here? I think, I think too soft. Put it over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Starks here. Third, oh, okay, there we go. Fourth down. I was like, wait, third down. 
Are they gonna? Yeah, we're gonna do a pump block. Nice. Fourth and one, man. That was clutch. He could have made a play there. Okay. Okay. Fair catch. Goes out of bounds. Okay, we got two minutes until halftime. They're gonna get the ball back after that. Oh, had to turn it, turn it back in. Turn it back in. Two minute warning. Okay, I got Winslow. Come on, Tomlinson, you gotta break those tackles, man. You know, I think that's where it would really be nice if we had players that could make plays like that. All right, we got Chambers, maybe. Richie, Richie. There we go. There we go. Way to find the open man. 48. Making a play there. There you go. Good, good pass there by seven. All right. They're playing man, I think. I think they're going man. Oh, come on. I was really hoping we could do something right there. It felt like that's that was a good play for us. Oh, dude, it's like, why does it not work? <laughs> why does the passing not work sometimes, man? I just, am I just not doing something right? Yeah, we'll try this rollout flow. Third and 14. Okay, 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 okay. There we go! What a play by Chris Chambers, man. That's what I'm talking about. And to trust him, man. That's our playmaker. Good pass by Leftwich. Double coverage. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. We got 30 seconds. The clock's going, though. I gotta make moves. Okay, okay. Ah, what do you do there? Call a timeout. Call a timeout. Like, what do you do there? Okay, okay. Alright, we're gonna just try to go deep here. Uh, well, hey, I'm going to try to pump fake. I forgot all about that. But, hey, we're up 3 nothing. They played good defense there. So, they're going to get the ball back. Hopefully, we can hold them. Let's go ahead and jump into it, though. Appreciate you guys supporting the series, supporting this team, this playthrough, these videos, this channel. Thank you. Thank you. And special shout-out. To anybody who leaves comments on these videos, giving me advice, I'm really taking back your feedback to the field, to these videos. So, thank you. All right. All right. Hey, there we go. There we go. Second and nine. Let's go. There we go. I like it. 33. Way to move up. Stop the run. Here we go. One more. One more. 34. Keeping it. Keeping it. Keeping it out. Obviously, he's. it's going to be a throw. It's going to be a throw. Hey, that's what's up. Nice. We got 16 on a cold streak here. What happened to Marvin Harrison? What happened to 88 on that play? Was he the uh, was he the target? 
It might be his head. All right, let's just keep going. You never want to see anybody get hurt, man. All right. Hey, we're lined up. 38, let's go. We're going to do a weak trap. We're in control of this game, man. I feel like we are. It's just not causing any problems. Let's see what we can do. Hey, not bad, not bad. Third and three. Not only do we got to stop fourth downs or third downs, we got to get better at getting our third down conversions for our ourselves, all right? Hey, get that first, LT. There you go. Fight for those yards, man. It don't have to be fancy. It does not have to be fancy. All right, I want to do a weak fullback sweep. Let's see if we can get Richie going. Hey, that's positive yardage. We're holding it down right now. Steady keeping it coming. I want to I want to see if we can get them on that uh Thank you, Dan. The trainers have just informed that PA. Severe headache, so he must have some level of concussion. All right, third and seven. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get him on the PA right here, but it is possible. All right, third and seven. Oh, so close. Almost had the flea flicker. Almost. I mean, that pressure came. I think that's why I threw it the way I did. Hey, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Just got to hope that our defense can keep doing what it's been doing. This might be a good punt here. Ah, he got a, he got a little bit more than I wanted him to, but he's back. Oh no, Greg Jones, our backup running back is out. What happened? Ah, oh, okay, we can't afford to lose people. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it balanced. Put some people over there. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, and it was running it to the right. They had that strong side on the left. Made you thinking they were going to go over that way, but they did not. And uh, thankfully, we were able to read that. Keep Brooking, we're seeing his name pop up a lot today. I'm going to motion here. I'm going to shift him to the right. Hey, hey, let's go, Sat. We need those. We must be like last in the, the NFL when it comes to sacks. Like, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, all right. You know it's going to be a pass here. Hey, Marvin Harrison's back out there. But, three and out. Let's go. 24 making plays. Good coverage here. Good coverage. Way to respond. Ooh, we almost had a deflection there. All right. All right. All right. Another three and out. Can we extend our lead? All right. We're going to take it to the... All right. All right. All right, what do we do here? I feel like we're playing a little too conservative. We 
They moved up. They moved up. Oh! Ooh! He was open. I, I reacted a little too slow on that one, though. There we go, there we go, there we go. Seven yard gain. Getting LT involved in the passing game is nice. A little skinny here. Looking for Lloyd. I'm looking for. Hey, there you go, Brian. There we go. They started they started doing that thing to me, so I was just like, look, we're just gonna run. We are just gonna run. Good stuff here. Come on, come on. There you go, Brian. There you go. Good blocking. Good blocking. Don't get hurt. Don't get hit. Hey. This did. Look, that was good blocking by our offensive line and 85 right there. He's a little tired now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can we get good blocking here on this run? Oh, I thought he went out of bounds. Oh, well. Hey, we're, we're winning. I don't care. We just need to get on the the winning side of things. There's going to be some some stuff here from our um, from our offense that we're not going to be able to get going today in this video because, you know, hey, Seven's new to the team. We're going to get him well adjusted here. Dang, there's got those plays are there, man. Those plays are there. It's just on me. Alright. Oh, look at that. Chambers. They're gonna start they're gonna start clicking. I was surprised that worked out. Chambers has a lot more going on today. All right, not bad for Brian's first game. We go, Lloyd. There you go. Look at that. That accuracy makes a difference, man. That's 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 just me personally feeling that difference. Ah, there's just no shoulder charge when it comes to LT sometimes. Ooh, they got Julius Peppers. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Alright. Got circle. Oh! Come on! 88! Catch it, man! I can't believe it! Yeah, we're gonna have to go for it here. Some might, some people might not agree with this. Some people may not agree with this. If I can't find the right play, we're do something else. But Chambers, dude, what? Did I throw it too early? Oh, no way. What happened? He wasn't paying attention. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Well, we're still up. Okay, we're going to be all right. Some people might disagree with that. That was just miscommunication. That's just what happens when you got a, a new quarterback, you know. They're not on the same page just yet. But hopefully our... Um, Defense can bail us out here. I don't know. I feel like they're going to pass it. No, I was wrong. But hey, we're still there. Third and seven. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. LeVar Arrington, man. We need you. Let's go, guys. Third down. Hey, they're not on the same page either, though. Thankfully, though. So, three and out. All right, this is where our play calling is going to change a little bit. 
closing in on the two minute warning only up by three we're gonna run it we're gonna run the clock down try to get some points on the board hey there we go perfect i'm liking the returns our our, our punt team punt return team is doing a lot better it feels like all right so this is where we're gonna slow down a little bit There's nothing there, man. Like, I guess a stiff arm. Right? Maybe inside runs. Alright. Let the clock go. They got a blitzer from this left side here. So it should be alright. Yeah, I gotta bounce around, man. Maybe you gotta like hold it down, try to charge it up a little bit. Right? You charge it up, then you can lay down those special moves. Hey, we're in field goal range, man. Third and six, though. Third and six. Got chambers. I'm looking for chambers. It's gonna be a play action rollout. They just played it. They played it really well. All right, so we are going to begin this field goal. 49-yard attempt. Let's see. Will that be enough? Nope, nope. He misses it. He misses it. Come on, man. I tried to do the right thing, and we just don't get it. All right. Too hard. Let's go. This game's too hard. That's what <laughs> this game punishes you, man. You gotta be spot on. Defense, hold it out. Hold it out. Oh, bro, we should have had a sack, and y'all saw that, man. Should have had a sack. All right, Starks, get in there. Do it again. Defense, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey, ah, they get the first. They got the first there. Come on. We got to make plays here. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. We're clogging it up, man. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to make sure our defense is fresh, man. That's just what I want to do here. All right, all right. I'm going in. Going in. I'm going to play as this defensive tackle. Gang. Gang up. Come on. Oh! There we go. A nice deflection by 24, man. Who's having himself a game? Third and 13, though. Can we hold it? Man, we're going to do three robber. Can we do it? There we go. There we go. They're just not connecting. All right. We're going to do three week. I'm going to spread them out a little bit. Nothing. Let's go. That's the game, guys. Defensively, we did a lot better this week. Plummer just wasn't on target, but we were just not giving him really nice looks for him to just find that open guy. Like, I feel like we were all over the place. Dude, he didn't even. Wow. All right, you got 53 seconds. They're going to call timeouts. Thomason, not a bad game either. They're going to start calling those timeouts, so. Yeah, we tried, man. Still not there yet. Still not there yet, but it will be. We got to get Brian Leftwich some time to develop here for us to get used to him.
All right, we can flip plays. You know, weak trap over to the right now. Oh, for the one. We're going to do a strong ISO here. Man, this game might not be over. Maybe I went a little too fast. Fourth and one, guys. This is crucial. Let's go. LT with the first down. Let's go. Let's go. That should be it. That should be the game. We're going to We're gonna go ahead and take a knee. Like, I think that's just the right. We might not even have to. Look at that. So we are going to finally win us a game again. After like, what, a two-game losing streak? I think seven left which is going to work out for us, man. I think that was the right move. We had to give up a draft pick, but hey, let's go. We're back on the winning side of things. We beat the Carolina Panthers in a low-scoring game. So if you like defensive battles, this was one for you. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the video. Stay tuned for the post-game show. Stay tuned for Sports Center. And uh, yeah, I think we're not gonna make any more trades if we, unless injuries happen or something. But y'all, I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Broncos stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Not much to highlight in the second half except for this play early in the fourth. Byron Leftwich connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx edge out a win, three to nothing. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Byron Leftwich is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly. And you nose them out in this nail-biter game. What gave you guys the edge today? Man, our defense played great. They were getting after the ball, hustling, making hits all game long. Man, it got me fired up watching them play. It was a nice effort all around, though. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Broncos edge their way to a narrow three-point win. In an NFC West matchup, we had the Seahawks pick up win number two. Jamal Lewis stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Brett Favre took to the air for over 300 yards and helped his Falcons beat the Lions. Down in Dallas in the Lone Star State, we had the Cowboys come away with a seven-point win. Over at Gillette Stadium, we had the Patriots come away with a seven-point win. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League. As free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Marquise Hill is on the move, as you see as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Four years, $4.5 million, plus a $1.3 million signing bonus. Bailey will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Bengals. Calvin Pritchett is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Five years, $2.0 million. Dexter Reed will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Eagles. Buccaneers, Saints. Carson Palmer calls signals at the 12-yard line. He's so dangerous, buying time. Moves out of the pocket, fires, touchdown. The Buccaneers go on to win this by the final score of 16 to 13. The Raiders got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at the RCA Dome. The Titans won on the road and will now head home to meet the Texans. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. This week had some big injuries, and we'll get to all of them, but we're going to start right here. Sean Alexander won't see action for a while, 
and that'll be a big offensive loss for his team. It's reported that he's broken his hip, and if that's the case, he'll be out for six weeks. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Steelers pick up win number two. Antonio Bryant had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Bills, Jets. Corey Chavis was playing clamp down defense just in case the opponent makes a mistake inside their own 20. And they do. What a terrible throw. What a perfect read. Touchdown. 16 yards. The Jets win this one by the final score of 31 to 20. In the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., we had the Redskins get sent home with a 14 point loss. And last but not least, we had the Texans come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.